அதுவெனி உத்தும் உதவசுக்கு விஷேஷ சாகச்சாவுக்கு ரூகத கிரீம் அப்படி சிதுக்கிறான் பலா பொறுத்தினுவா அமெரிக்கா எக்ஸ ஜனபதி கலிஃபோர்னியா பிராந்தி சாந்த ரோசாக்கின் பிரதேசே சீட்டு மம தங் ஃபெமினி சிட்டின் லோக பூஜித சைடோ பாவுக் இமி பானான்கி ஆரணேட்ட லோகே ஜனத ஜீவத்தும் நத்தர சிட்டின் அக்ரகனி பாவனா குருக்கு வசின் உன்வாசே ஹரி பிரசித்தாய் உன்வாசகி ஹமோய் மத் மகே ஜீவிதே விஷால பாகிய கிரித்தாமி மம சலகானி மேவனி பூஜனிய ஆரிய ஷ்ராவகன் வாசேல அசுரு கிரீமர் லவிமத் இதாம விரல அவஸ்தாவக் பவை மட்டைத்தென்னி மேம் ஆரண்ணிய சிட்ன அணிக்குத் தெருன்வாசேலாத் தாயக்கனுத் உன்வாசே தர்ம மார்கி உத்தும் பலனிலாகத்தி மினமக் ஹெட்டிடதமாய் விஸ்வாசகரான்னி மகி முழும் வேயமத் தவசி சாய்டோ பாவு காமதுன் வாசி கேன் இத்துமாங்கி சிஷ்யே குவன அப்பி அத்து பூஜனிய நாவியனி அரிதம் சுவாமின் வாசி கேன கர்ணு சிவால் பேத்தன் கேனிமான் ஈட்ட தமத்தரவு சிலங்காவாசி ஜனதாவட்ட அபிதர்மிய இகனகனி மின்னதி வடினாக்கம் ஹா இகி பெவத்ம சந்தா அப்பே காரி பாரிகன உன்வான்சேகின் அவ்வாதான் சுவாசனா உக்கலபாகனி மின்னமை மகே திவனி கருணைடிடும் அம்பலா புருத்துவன்னி பாட்ணமி பாந்தே மின்னப்பில் நாயினி அரைதம் தீரோ இச well recognized uh, monk in sri lanka um, so people of sri lanka are organizing a religious ceremony to bless him for his good health as a student of yours would you please describe a little about him we as a big group we should know and from One big whose experience to lead the Buddhist. This is one we need to do. So because of this religion, we should know and for him about his experience. But he is a good teacher, good student. So if he can teach Dhamma and Sri Lanka for a long time, then there will be many beneficiaries. or Sri Lankan people because he can teach Dhamma clearly. He can teach especially for noble truths. If a meditator wants to attain Nibbana, first he must try to, uh, to realize for noble truths by his own direct knowledge. How to practice or realization of for noble truths? We can teach Novel Eightfold Systematically and clearly. Because of this reason, it is beneficial for Sri Lankan Bhikkhus if he is always healthy and happy and teach. As we know, Sri Lanka is the center of the Theravada tradition. We think that um, it is the best time to learn Abhidhamma so that we can protect and pass it on to the future students in the world. All Sri Lankans would like to know the importance of Abhidhamma from you. Buddha, Buddha's teaching is especially fixed for realization of one of If we summarize the teachings of the Buddha, the main body of Buddha's teaching is only just four noble truths. Among four noble truths, number one is the noble truth of Sapare, Dukkha, Riya, Sija. What is Dukkha, Riya, Sija? Buddha explains in different ways, but in brief, usually in many sutras, Buddha explains 
Without penetrating the noble truth of the safari dhukha riya sija by his or her own direct knowledge, one cannot attain nibbana, one cannot realize nibbana, because this is the five aggregates as the object of kalinga are the object of vipassana, number one. Number two is the noble truth of the origin of safari, samudhya, riya, sicca. This is second meditation object of vipassana. So the noble truth of safari, dhokha, riya, sicca, and the noble truth of the origin of safari, dhokha, samudhya, riya, sicca. These two noble truth dhammas are the object of vipassana. He meditated must contemplate them as nature, dhokha, and another. As soon as they arise, they perish away very, very quickly, so they are nature. There is, they are always oppressed by rising and perishing away, so they are dhokha, safari. There is no permanent self, permanent substance, permanent entity, or permanent other and then, so they are another non-self. So such type of contemplating knowledge is called vipassana. If a meditator wants to realize nirvana and this very life, he must first try to understand these two noble truths, Thomas, by his own direct knowledge, or by her own direct knowledge. While trying to for realization of the noble truth of suffering, Dhoka Riya Sija, the Medida must try to understand five aggregates as the object of clinging first. Among five aggregates as the object of clinging, number one is the Rubu Badane Kala, the materiality as the object of clinging. What is materiality? In many subjects, Buddha never explain in detail about materiality. Only in Abhidhamma, Buddha explained about materiality in detail. So there are two types of materiality, Chaddaro Mahabuddha and Chaddaunincha Mahabuddha na Ubadaya Rupa. So four elements and eh? derivative materialities which arise divided on four elements. Ubhata Rupa. What are Ubhata Rupa? What are four elements? So this is mentioned explained in DD and Abhidhamma only. And so does Buddha usually does not explain in DD like Dhamma, Chaka, Bodhana, Soda. The mouth will set in emotion so that. What is the reason? Because the listeners, especially five group, five groups, they understand if the Buddha says Sankhi Dena Bichu Bhadana Kanda Dukha. In brief, five aggregates as the object of Glinga are Dukha Riya Sita. They understand, they can practice. Why? Because of their parami. But nowadays, many meditators, usually they do not understand. They must learn to understand this materiality as the object of Klinge under the guidance of good teacher. Again, feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness as the object of Klinge of mentality. Nama. What is Nama? How they arise as a mental process or process free? Only in Abhidhamma Buddha teach in detail. So for realization of mentality, without understanding Abhidhamma, it is impossible. So because of this reason, after understanding materiality, a must continue 
two days of mentality. There are two days of mentality. Mentality which arises as a mental process, eh? mentality which arises as a process free. Witty jeta and eh? witty mokta jeta. So, in every mind moment, there is no single mental factor. Jeta and jeta sika, consciousness and mental factors, jeta sikas, they always arise together. Eh? within one mind moment. In some mind moments there are eight types of mental formations, but in some mind moments there may be 34, 33 mental formations. What are 34? What are eight types of mental formations? This is explained in detail and firma only. But a meditator must penetrate by his own direct knowledge for realization of this mentality, materiality and mentality. Without penetrating this materiality and mentality by his own direct knowledge or by her own direct knowledge, one cannot attain nirvana, one cannot realize nirvana. The goal of our bodies is the for realization of nirvana or for the attainment of nirvana. If a meditator wants to realize nirvana, first he must try to discern ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality, and their causes. So, Abhidhamma is for realization of Purnavarsha. Abhidhamma is very important. Ape Nayuni Aridham Swamin Mansi Lanka visited Singapore to Vedamakara Etuman. Rohal Gatakar Silma Parikshavata Lakkarpu Saha Me Pau Saido Himipananta Aranya Pasukan Salasadun He Ape Singapur Jataka Justin Metumata Me Avastavi Apevishesha Istutia Pudukar Sitna